Shifting focus for now, India's space agency, ISRO, has made history. This morning, ISRO aced its maiden space docking mission, a niche and sophisticated technology that is key to several high-end space missions. ISRO now joins an elite list of countries that have performed space docking. Let's first just tell you more about what makes space docking such a praiseworthy technological feat. You see, docking is the process of mechanically attaching spacecraft that are circling the Earth. Think of the International Space Station. It is as long as a football field and as spacious as a five-bedroom house, just for context. Obviously, it's impossible to launch such a massive structure into space. And that is where the process of docking comes in. By launching multiple large components into space, it's possible to autonomously assemble them via docking. Also, docking has various applications. Docking enables the transfer of fuel, cargo, even astronauts between two spacecraft. So far, the US, Russia, China and Europe have mastered docking technology. And now India has successfully demonstrated autonomous space docking. India's SpaceX mission was launched on the 30th of December 2024. ISRO's workhorse PSLV rocket carried the twin satellites, a target and a chaser, each weighing about 220 kgs. Earlier this month, the satellites were 21 kilometers apart and gradually ISRO tested all their systems and sensors and then started moving the satellites closer to each other. Eventually, this led to the docking. By the end of this decade, India is looking to perform Chandrayaan-4, a mission to land a robotic craft on the moon and bring back samples. India also wants to build its own space station. For accomplishing both these missions, India must master docking technology. And just to understand the process better and its significance, Vion's principal correspondent, Siddharth MP, recently spoke to M. Shankaran, the director of ISRO's uh, UR Rao Satellite Center, to help understand the intricacies of space docking. Kindly tell us, sir, how complicated these satellites are traveling at 28,000 kilometers per hour and autonomously they'll have to dock? Correct. It is like you would have seen in uh, the movie Speed, how the two buses are going at 100 miles per hour together parallelly and you have to put a bridge and uh, transfer people. It is exactly like that, but only the speed is going to be at least another 2,000 times more. That is the difficulty in this work. But it is not impossible. People have already done it. We have developed our own technology. <laughs> 